you rode to the rescue of the Weinstein Company, the production house that I don't need to tell, maybe I need to tell a few people here, but back home they all know that it's been rocked by accusations of sexual assault by uh, its co-founder and driving force, Harvey Weinstein. Why did you come to the rescue? Well, I don't, I don't know that we've come to the rescue, but um, the company itself, if you, if you recall, we purchased Miramax. I do recall. From Disney, which In was... In 2010. Yes. <coughs> which was a previous company that the Weinsteins um, had sponsored. And it was 750 films, 750 projects in the can. It was a great acquisition from Disney. So we were familiar with the, the portfolio, the library, and the process. Why do you say you haven't bailed them out or rescued them yet? Well, and when, when we say rescue, there's a big difference between the Weinsteins and the company. So Harvey, whatever the accusations are, his conduct was totally unacceptable reprehensible and unacceptable on any term. So no one is interested in salvaging a company which would benefit Harvey. However, you have 115 individuals, you have a TV production company, you have an independent film company, you have a distribution company, and which has counterparts that are relying on stability. So in a very short period of time, if, if, if the Weinstein element could be removed, if the toxicity of the liabilities that are around it could be addressed, and if the content of the company could continue on in a normal way, there's some value. Whether that can happen or not is a question. When you say the Weinstein element removed, do you mean Bob as well as Harvey? Well, Bob, of, of course, is, um, is in a satellite position to this, fortunately or unfortunately. And the benefit of his name is also the detriment of his name, but Bob has been very capable at his own business, which is dimension. So, ring fencing the Weinsteins in whatever manner needs to be done without being punitive to Bob, who at this point in time has no culpability apparently in the process. Nevertheless, the counterparts are gonna want the Weinsteins gone, and how that gets done is a, an issue and a question. Can you tell at this point whether you're going to buy it or not? No. When will you know? Soon. Soon. Any idea what it will cost? You know, we, we, we're, we're under a non-disclosure agreement, and of course you, you have hundreds of creative people whose lives are in the offing here. I, I wouldn't venture to well, say. Well, Mira, let's, let's, let's try to put, uh, scale it, if you will. Miramax was a $660 million deal. Yes a very big film library with some famous titles. Is this as valuable an asset as that was? Well, it's hard to say because you have to, look, you have to take liabilities. So you have stated liabilities on the balance sheet that go against mostly the, the previous library. Then you have attendant liabilities that arise from the acts of Harvey now. Which of those liabilities are attributable to the company on an ongoing basis and which aren't is, uh, is a Rubik's Cube. Very difficult very, very difficult. So it's, it, the, the first objective is you have a, a, a patient that's dying on the table. You need to revive them and get them to breathe first. If you can do that, then maybe you can see, can they walk? And if they can walk, perhaps you can get them in a race. It's a real issue. 